So if you want to use the paint bucket, you can simplify it by going into sections that might have little broken lines and closing them up. This would allow you to just drop a paint color into those sections. So I'm gonna go through and close up some of my broken lines. If I have some solid shapes in my drawing, I can erase the outside edges much easier. So when I talk about solid shapes, again, I'm talking about a broken line. This line for the hair meets at the top here and at the bottom here, there's no broken spaces. So when I'm on my line layer, I can go to the selection tools at the top, sorry. I can go to the selection tools at the top and these are all the different tools that let me select an area to affect. That way it doesn't affect anything else. And the magic wand tool will recognize pixels that look like each other. So if I choose an open area and I click inside of it, it's going to choose that whole area. For example, if I click inside of the eye it's choosing that whole area. If I wanna do inside the pupil, it's going to choose that whole area. Now, if I do anything to that area, it's not gonna affect the outside edges. I can choose multiple areas by clicking in to this area and there's a plus and a minus. So if I click plus, I can say, I wanna affect the pupil and the outer edges. Again, this only works if it's in an enclosed shape here. So I'm gonna choose the selection tool that has the X on it, that deselects everything, it clears my selection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select and add this outside edge here. So you could see that it goes this whole outside edge from the edge of the frame to the outside of the hair. Now, if I go to the hair layer and I choose my eraser, I can go and erase and it's not going to go inside of that selection. So I can create a clean edge without taking a lot of time. Let me deselect again and show you how that works. I go back to my line layer. I click into it. Now this is only going to affect the areas inside of the skin tone. I click back to my hair layer, choose my eraser, and erase. It's not always this easy because we don't always have clean, perfect lines. But if you have a section that has an enclosed shape, this might be a shortcut to really save yourself some time. Clearing up my selection. Again, each one of these is going to be, so I wanna clear the part of the hair that goes into the neck and the collar. So I'm going to click my selection tool, but right now, oops, I selected the area that's of the hair color. So that's not gonna help me out very much. I wanna clear that selection. I wanna go back to the line drawing so I can select a whole area of the drawing. So if I click here, that will just give me that part, but I wanna get those other smaller sections. So I click the plus tool, and I can add onto it by clicking each of these. Remember, I wanna click inside of that shape, not on the line. Now I've got, it's going to click inside of all of those shapes. So if I go back down to the hair, I go to the eraser, it's much easier to clean up. 
So now I've created those selections to clean up my blending.